Hello. Now that you know how to write a program to sample a Markov chain, let's discuss how this program might be used to generate samples of the random variables that tells you the time till absorption for a Markov chain with a transition graph like that shown here. Before getting onto the program, let's first clarify what we are doing with this exercise. We know that if we run this chain, we will eventually arrive in either state 1 or state 5 as these states are recurrent and absorbing. States 2, 3 and 4, meanwhile, are transient. It is guaranteed that at some point in the future we will stop visiting states 2, 3 and 4. The question that we would like to answer is how many steps there will be in our Markov chain before we arrive in state 1 or state 5 and remain there permanently. Now, clearly, the number of stakes, steps it takes before we get absorbed in one of the recurrent states is a random variable. Our first step in solving this question of how many steps the chain takes prior to absorption is going to be to write a program to sample this new kind of random variable. Furthermore, to write this program to sample the number of steps until absorption, we are going to use the Markov move function that is shown here and that has been introduced in a previous video. If you do not yet understand this function, I would recommend that you go back and watch my previous video where I explained how this function works before continuing. With those prerequisites aside, however, let's get on to writing the function for sampling the number of steps that the system takes prior to absorption. We will call the function that we are going to write time to absorption, and we pass it three arguments as shown here. The first of these arguments, A, will be the transition matrix for the Markov chain. You should specify the transition matrix using the numpy array command that was introduced in previous videos. The second argument, S, is the state you are going to start out from. Ideally, S is going to be the index of one of the three transient states. So S will be 1, 2, or 3. You could pass S equals 0 or S equals 4 here, but in those cases you know that the time to absorption is 0 as you are starting from a recurrent state. The final argument to this function, end is a 1D numpy array. This 1D numpy array contains the a list of the indexes of all the recurrent states in the chain. For the transition graph shown at the top of the slide, ENDS is thus a two-element array that contains the numbers 0 and 4. These are the indexes of the two recurrent states in our transition matrix. Now possibly, as I've said all this, you're wondering why all of the numbers that I've given are one less than the labels in the diagram. I would remind you that the first element of any array in Python is element 0. So to get to the labels from the diagram to the indexes of Python arrays, we have to take one from those labels. The code for generating the hitting time is going to look something like this. We use a while loop here because we want to continue to generate moves until we arrive in one of the recurrent states. This first part of the code checks if we are in one of these absorbing states, the states that are listed in the 1D numpy array called ends. If the code finds that we are in one of these states, we break out of the while loop and we return from the function. Within the while loop, we use the variable n to count the number of moves that we generate, as shown here. In other words, the variable n is essentially counting the number of times that we pass through the while loop before we hit the break condition that breaks us out of the loop. Notice finally then that we have the call to Markov move here to generate each of the states in our Markov chain. 
And that is all there is to it. You should thus now be able to complete the exercise and write your own code that is able to sample the number of steps there are in a Markov chain like this before the chain gets absorbed in one of the transient states. Thanks for your attention and good luck with the exercise.